Hi, I'm Dr. T, and I'm a pediatrician. On Ask Dr. T, I answer health questions from teens. Questions ranging from safe sex, to self-love, to questions about body parts. Let's get this episode started. On this episode, I'm talking all about the implant, or Nexplanon. It's personally my favorite type of birth control for teenagers. It is a single hormone that is in a small little bar. And the bar is inserted into your arm about halfway between your elbow and your armpit, right there. And it stays there for three years. So the next planon is inserted and then that's all. You don't have to worry about anything else. So I think it's great. I hope you guys like it too. All right, question number one. Does the three year implant have the same effects as the pill? My symptoms go away with the pill, but would it work the same if I switched to the implant? So that depends on what symptoms you're talking about. The implant itself can be effective for uh, reducing period flow and cramps, but because it's a single hormone, um, it's not as effective against acne, um, but for period related symptoms it certainly is effective. So again it depends on what type of symptoms you're talking about, but if it's period stuff, it's good. Question number two. I am on the implant and I'm constantly bleeding. I will get my period, usually red, and then the rest of the month I just get dark colored brown. Is this normal? Okay, so no, it's not normal. It is a potential rare side effect. Um, so if you're having bleeding nonstop, which would be your period plus brown discharge, I would talk to your doctor because this is, again, a rare side effect, but a lot of people do experience changes in their period pattern increasing bleeding is one rare side effect. So I would talk to your doctor. It doesn't necessarily mean that you need to have the implant removed. What they may end up doing is just recommending a short trial of birth control to see if you can kind of stop things. Um, but sometimes people experience increased blood and that would be a reason to remove the implant. But it is a rare side effect and I would talk to your doctor and see if you can get that to stop because no one wants to bleed all the time. Question number three. Hi there. Hi. I got the bar implant in my arm in February. I got my period once, but I haven't had it since. Is it normal to not get your period when having the implant? Yes. Yeah. There are going to be a variety of potential changes to your period when you get the implant. The first one is going to be increased bleeding, like we just talked about. Obviously a negative side effect. Um, but the more common side effects are going to be continued periods, but reduced flow and improved cramps. And then some people totally lose their periods. So that's a great side effect, I think. Not everybody thinks so, but I think it's a great side effect. So it could be totally normal for you. Question number four. Does Nexplanon cause breast tenderness or lumps? Is this normal or should I get it checked out? So Yes, it can cause breast tenderness. Breast lumps are probably going to be more related to your own anatomy as well. So some people are more susceptible to some fibrocystic changes of their breast tissue, meaning that you get different changes in your breast tissue depending on where you are in your menstrual cycle. It's, un it's unlikely that the implant is causing these fibrocystic changes. Um, if you do feel a lump though that lasts for longer than a month, you probably want to just show your doctor, talk to them about it. Nothing to be overly concerned about but um, if you're a teenager, but definitely um, just keep track of it. Tenderness would be a side effect. If it's too much for you, then it might not be worth continuing, but it should be mild. Um, and question number five. I haven't had my period for 49 days and I'm starting to get worried because I'm sexually active. I have the implant, but I don't know if my period is late because I'm pregnant or because of the implant. Okay, 
So this is that's kind of the, the tricky part of the implant and other forms of birth control that take away your period. But you should know that the implant is over 99% effective. It is super duper great. And that means that you're probably not pregnant. It's probably more related to the next one on. And if you are concerned, you can get a pregnancy test and check. But I would say that if you're not pregnant and it's been 49 days, this is probably going to be your pattern for a little while, just not having your period. And I hope you enjoy it. If you don't like it, though, that is a side effect of Nexplanon, and you could talk to your provider about having it removed. But lots of folks like it uh, for not having a period, and it's super effective. So the chance of pregnancy is very, very, very low. So I wouldn't be too worried, but if you, if you uh, want to calm your nerves, check a pregnancy test. And that'll do it for this round of Nexplanon questions. And remember, if you have a question for Ask Dr. T, you can either respond in this video or submit through my website, askdrt.net.